Welcome to a special News Channel 7 presentation. Barbara Morgan, Idaho's teacher in space. It is a dream 22 years in the making, taking Barbara Morgan from her McCall classroom to the International Space Station. I'm Allison Uden at the Kennedy Space Center with a special presentation, Barbara Morgan, Idaho's teacher in space. The shuttle Endeavor is right behind me getting ready to launch. But before we go to liftoff, let's take a look back at what got us to this point today. It is a decades-old story just waiting for a happy ending, a tale that spans the emotional spectrum from the highest of highs to the lowest of lows. For Idaho school teacher Barbara Morgan, it begins in 1985 with an out-of-this-world opportunity. And first, the backup teacher who will make the flight if the winner can't, Barbara Morgan of the McCall Donnelly Elementary School in McCall, Idaho. Congratulations, and we have a little, uh, little thing for you. Through NASA's new Teacher in Space program, Barbara Morgan was instantly launched into the national spotlight, a far cry from her quaint classroom in McCall. I think the more you experience, the better teacher you become, and that I want to share that experience with my students. Out of 11,000 teachers to apply, Morgan became the second in line for liftoff. Not only did she become the backup for fellow teacher Krista McAuliffe, but she became her friend. For six months, the two trained in tandem as NASA ramped up preparations for the launch of the Challenger, the space shuttle that would carry America's first teacher in space. In living rooms and classrooms across the nation, Americans watched this historic launch. Lift off of the 25th Space Shuttle mission and it has cleared the tower. And then witnessed one of NASA's worst tragedies unfold on live television. My controllers here looking very carefully at the situation. Obviously a major malfunction. On January 28, 1986, the Challenger exploded, killing all on board including Kristen McAuliffe. We have a report from the flight dynamics officer that the vehicle has exploded. The crew of the Space Shuttle Challenger honored us for the manner in which they lived their lives. We will never forget them. About two weeks later, Morgan returned to Idaho and to her classroom, seeming more determined than ever. Well, I think we all have an obligation, and I mean, there are, there are always tragedies in life, and we have an obligation to carry on. So you're not going to have But in a network interview with Jane Pauley, Morgan said she knew it would take time before it was her time. Barbara, what is the soonest your mission might be? I really can't answer that. I assume it's going to be at least two years. Maybe a lot more? Uh, maybe a lot more. I really don't know. It was a lot more. 21 years to be exact. All of that stuff seems like just yesterday. It's been long, but it's, it's not been a wait. It's been long work and, and a good work. So, and you know, most things in life don't come easy. Most things in life take a lot of effort and uh, take some patience and some per perseverance. And as classroom teachers, that's, that's what defines classroom teachers. That's why classroom teachers can do their job so well. You don't get instant gratification in the classroom. Why do you think we need a teacher in space? We can bring to NASA what we know as classroom teachers and what will work. And we bring, we help make that connection back to the classroom from the NASA point of view, from space exploration. You are one of the reasons that this mission is historic, but your involvement also reminds a lot of people of one of the worst tragedies in, in NASA's history, the Challenger explosion. How do you watch that happen and find the courage to say, yeah, I'm going to go through with this? Space exploration is risky. Um, you can't, cannot, you can try your hardest, there will, there will be risk. It's a hostile environment, the technology is very complex, the machinery is all very complex. Um, you, you stop and pause to think, what is it that we can do to try to make this better, to try to make it safer? And it's something you have to be diligent at all the time. It's, it's great. Diligence, a professional and personal trait exemplified by this Idaho teacher turned astronaut. Morgan's mission remains the same as it was in the 80s, to inspire young minds but also to carry on the legacy of those who helped pave the way for a teacher in space. And carrying on is a great way to put it because uh, the Challenger's legacy is open-ended. 
all school teachers legacies are open-ended and all space flight missions legacies are open-ended and it goes on and on and on way into the future and I think that's a good thing. Coming up next, he's been at Barbara's side through this lengthy journey, a candid conversation with her husband, Clay Morgan. You know, I'm aware of how dangerous it is and, uh, and hope, it, hope it'll all go well. Welcome back to Barbara Morgan, Idaho's teacher in space. A special presentation by Idaho's News Channel 7. I'm really excited. I started realizing this is, this is it, that it's probably going to happen. Nearly all of his married life, Clay Morgan has waited for this week to arrive, the time his wife, Barbara, makes one of the most historic flights in American history. Then I get to see Barbara again. Uh, one more time. They call it the kiss and cry. Are you going to cry? No, I won't. But Are you uh, kiss? I think we will. <laughs> but uh, with the years, the months, the days reduced to minutes, Clay had precious little time left with his wife before liftoff. With the crew in quarantine, family members are only given brief visits with the astronauts in the days prior to launch. What is her mood like? <laughs> um, she seems, if, over the last couple of weeks, to be getting calmer and happier. As Barbara finds calm with the finish line approaching, her husband Clay feels a different emotion creeping to the surface. Do you have any apprehension? Yeah. Um, um, you know, I'm aware of how dangerous it is and, uh, and hope, hope it'll all go well. Keenly aware, because it was at this very spot Clay watched the Challenger disaster in 1986. The shuttle intended to launch the Teacher in Space program with Krista McAuliffe. You know, for the Challenger launch, I was standing right here. And Barb was on top of that little gray building. Is that possible? Yes. And um, after the, it launched, she was going, they, they had microphones around her and, they were, and she was going to talk to the press. Mm -hmm. And then it didn't. And then um, I ran back, and she came down off that building, and they took us into the press building, possibly, and we waited there and, you know, looked at the, the clouds in the sky and everything, and uh, so the first time I've been back here since, since uh, 86. It must have been surreal. Yeah, it was, and it's kind of strange right now, because I, yeah, I was standing right here near this clock. Did you know what had happened when it happened? We knew something really bad had happened. And, and, and nobody knew, you couldn't tell looking at it, you know, if the, if the cabin was, you know, the shuttle was intact or you just knew, it was just obvious that, you know, something, it, it, you know, there'd been an explosion. You could see those uh, solid rocket boosters corkscrewing away. Hmm. A solemn but unavoidable thought. Clay will be near this spot again as the shuttle Endeavor attempts to finish what the Challenger started, to take a teacher where no teacher had gone before. While all eyes are focused on this milestone mission, Clay says Barbara has actually become a bit more farsighted, with her goal so close, finally able to look beyond it. She has kept her eye on this goal, so much that whenever I have tried to talk about what we do next, she has none of it. You know. She, and, and I'll, I dream up some fantasy, you know. And, uh, and just two weeks ago, she started ripping out of a magazine pictures of mountain houses for back in Idaho, so. Would you like to return to McCall? Oh, we'd love to. Isn't that terrific? She, there are so many people in Idaho, as well as of course in McCall, that hope she does come back, and she certainly has a, an opening as a teacher in McCall. McCall Mayor Bill Robertson was among those on hand at a pre-launch picnic on Cocoa Beach, a Barbara Morgan fan club of sorts to cheer this hometown hero into space. With a personal invitation, he and his wife represent an important piece of Barbara's past, the town in which she was teaching when this offer of space exploration came her way. This is very special. It's very, for a, for a mayor of a little town to get a letter from NASA inviting us was just exciting. Really exciting. And here you are. Yes. <laughs> I would not miss this for, a, for any reason. Nor would Clay, the man who's been behind the scenes all these years, Barbara's wingman. 
Through his eyes, mission specialist Morgan is much more than a teacher or an astronaut. She is a wife of 29 years, realizing a dream. She's going to do this. She's going to fly. And I'm envious, you know, very envious. But she deserves it so much. Just amazing. Not everyone thought this dream would become reality. In my mind, I was going, it's never going to happen, <laughs> you know. Coming up, this story as seen through the eyes of Barbara's youngest and most impressionable fans, when Barbara Morgan, Idaho's teacher in space, returns. Welcome back to Barbara Morgan. Idaho's Teacher in Space, a special presentation by Idaho's News Channel 7. We are not alone in our journey to watch this special mission take launch. Several people from Idaho came to Florida to see this as well, witness it with their own two eyes, including several teachers from the Treasure Valley. I am so excited to be here. I am, I am very excited to be here. Like so many others from around the nation, Ann Stafford is here for the Space Shuttle Endeavour launch. And like nearly everyone you talk to here, she has a special connection to it. We've been waiting 21 and a half years. I can't wait. I can't wait. Hi, Clay. I'm Ann Stafford. Stafford is a teacher with the Boise School District. Two decades ago, her students wrote letters to Krista McAuliffe and Barbara Morgan, those famous teachers who seem to be getting the chance of a lifetime. There are teachers here from all over, from Alaska. Yeah, the teachers in space, or... yeah there, there are 60, 60 teachers in space out of the original 114. Now, 22 years later, Stafford feels like she's the one getting a golden opportunity. She is one of dozens of teachers from the Treasure Valley, here to watch her colleague, her inspiration, do what no other teacher has done before a true lesson in and out of the classroom. So there's a group of Idaho teachers that have come down here to support um, Barbara. We're very excited about that because it's not only Barbara Morgan, Barbara Morgan involved, it's all of the educational system. And this shows, as Barbara has said, the students that just because something has failed at one time doesn't mean it's over. It means we keep working harder and harder and harder until we achieve it. And she is achieving it on Wednesday. And there's astronaut Barb Morgan, the educator astronaut that will be uh, flying her fl first mission. Not only does Morgan serve as inspiration to her colleagues nationwide, she has also helped mold the minds of a generation of students at McCall Elementary School, teaching lessons that still resonate with those former students today. So often am I drawn back to things that I learned from her. She demanded excellence, she treated us all very adult-like. In 1985, Leggett McEwen was in Mrs. Morgan's second grade class when suddenly her favorite teacher became famous. She would go to the Kennedy Space Station in Florida and do something unthinkable, be in the running for a trip to outer space. I remember my classmates and I just wanting to know, wanting to know everything. I remember thinking Florida was, you know, like a whole other planet in and of itself. You know, where does, where's that at? You know, and she's going there, you know. Not just to Florida, but perhaps to the stars. Oh, the questions it raised in the curious minds of her students, like that of eight-year-old Leggett. I want to learn about what she saw up there and what, where, where she's been and where she's, who she's been talking to and how she had to eat and how she drank and stuff like that. <laughs> I go right back to that time. You know, the en energy, the emotions, they all come right back, like as if I made again. Those young emotions would unexpectedly evolve in 1986 as Leggett and thousands of students across America watched that other school teacher take flight, then saw something happen that was awfully hard to understand. Mrs. McAuliffe and the other astronauts died. What would that mean for Mrs. Morgan? Well, she said she was a little, a little bit scared, but not that scared. She was excited to go up and to go up. Always the teacher, Barbara Morgan used this tragedy as a lesson in perseverance. She would forge on. She would go next. They are waiting to see what adults do in situations like this one. Children identify strongly with NASA right now. They think of themselves as our partners in space exploration. I am ready to be their partner. 
I remember just wondering, why would you want to still go? But it was just, it was what, who she was. And that's who she still is today. It's an incredible story, you know, beyond just a small town teacher getting to go to space. It's really, it's really beyond that. In my mind, I was going, it's never going to happen, you know, and it's happening. And so it, it, it just speaks volumes for pursuing your dream, persistence, never giving up. It just feels so fortunate to have her in my life and especially to have had her as a teacher. Coming up next on Barbara Morgan, Idaho's Teacher in Space. Six go for main engine start. For Morgan, for NASA, for the nation, a dream is realized. Lift off of Space Shuttle Endeavor. Welcome back to Barbara Morgan, Idaho's Teacher in Space, a special presentation by Idaho's News Channel 7. And now the moment so many people have waited so long to see. August 8th, 2007, the Space Shuttle Endeavor takes flight. Minus 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, go for main engine start. Four, three, two, one, zero, and liftoff of Space Shuttle Endeavor, expanding the International Space Station while creating a classroom in space. Roger roll, Endeavor. Houston now controlling the flight of Endeavor. The Space Shuttle begins its journey back into orbit. Endeavor rolling onto the proper alignment, heads down, wings level for the eight and a half minute ride to orbit, taking aim on the International Space Station for docking on Friday. Barbara Morgan's significance on this launch was obvious to all, Mission Control referencing her directly as well as her deceased predecessor at nearly the exact moment the Space Shuttle Challenger exploded during its ill-fated launch in 1986. Morgan racing towards space on the wings of a legacy. As the Endeavour successfully passed one critical checkpoint after another, again, NASA draws attention to its teacher nearly in space. External tank separation confirmed. Endeavour now in its preliminary orbit for Barbara Morgan and her crewmates' classes in session. A few days later, Endeavour successfully docked at its destination. Barbara Morgan, now aboard the International Space Station. With Morgan instantly capturing the moment, creating an educational documentary. The Destiny Laboratory, the venue for a film festival as uh, the 10 uh, crew members uh, fully documenting uh, their arrival and uh, the arrival of the uh, Endeavour crew on board the International Space Station. Again, Barbara Morgan shooting a video that will be part of an educational uh, film that will be uh, edited uh, post-flight for distribution to schools around the country. But first... I'm Bob Morgan and we are ready for your first question. Welcome aboard the International Space Station. Select students from around Idaho got a chance to go to the head of the class asking questions of the astronauts orbiting hundreds of miles above Earth. How does being a teacher relate with being an astronaut on this mission? Well, astronauts and teachers actually do the same thing. We, discuss, we explore, we discover, and we share. And the great thing about being a teacher is you get to do that with students, and the great thing about being an astronaut is you get to do it in space. And both are absolutely wonderful jobs. Could you demonstrate how you drink in space? That can be a little bit messy. The less for the cleaner way is to simply use the straw and, and, and suck the drink right out of the bag. Through the laughter and the lessons, astronauts also contemplated crisis during this mission. What to do about damaged tiles on the underbelly of Endeavour? While thoughts of the Challenger explosion haunted the launch, it was now concerns reminiscent of the Columbia disaster that surrounded the shuttle's landing. In 2003, it was damage similar to this that claimed the lives of yet another shuttle crew. The word that we are getting is that this is more of an issue for the orbiters uh, reuse and uh, not our personal safety. And we have a lot of faith in the program and we'll do what, uh, what the engineers decide is the best thing for us to do. 
just under three minutes to touchdown, Endeavour flying at an altitude of 28,000 feet at 500 miles per hour. In the end, it was decided doing nothing was the best course of action, and it was. Endeavour's descent rate is 20 times higher and 7 times steeper than a commercial airliner on this final approach to the Kennedy Space Center landing facility. The landing gear is down and locked. Main gear touchdown. Nearly two weeks after a flawless launch, Endeavour completed its mission in similar fashion. Nose gear touchdown. Deploying of the drag chute to delay to assess uh, the conditions of the crosswinds on the orbiter as it rolls out on the uh, runway. Landing safely back at the Kennedy Space Center. Endeavour returning the first educator mission specialist Barbara Morgan to Earth to begin the next step in her journey to inspire future generations to explore, learn, and build a better future. Mission accomplished. We'll be right back with more Barbara Morgan, Idaho's teacher in space. Welcome back to Barbara Morgan, Idaho's teacher in space, a special presentation by Idaho's News Channel 7. A dream realized, the fruition of a 22-year journey for Barbara Morgan. Thank you so much for joining us on this special presentation, Barbara Morgan, Idaho's Teacher in Space. I'm Allison Uten at the Kennedy Space Center. I can't remember whether So 